Hey guys, it's Micah. Welcome back to my channel. So this week, or I mean, I guess today, we are hiking San Ysidro Trail to San Ysidro Falls. Um, to compare it to Tangerine Falls, we did that last month. Go check out that video. I'll link it above. But anyways, we have to wear masks because last time <laughs> we hiked uh, Tangerine Falls, Janice's parents watched my vlog, but they got mad that we weren't wearing masks. So here we are wearing masks. Janice? <laughs> hey, don't put that in there. <laughs> also, I forgot to bring my dog, so Kirsten's kind of mad because we were supposed to bring our dogs apparently, but it was implied, it was never said in the group chat, because the last time we brought our dogs for the Tangerine Falls hike, and it was fun, but it was a lot of work. Also, this thing's like suffocating. Whew! <laughs> So the first part of the trail starts on this road, which is just a residential, private residential area. And it's kind of boring, but as soon as it starts following the creek, which is just a little that way, it starts getting interesting. So let's go check that out. So kind of like Tangerine Falls, there's a sign over here that warns that this is one of the burned areas from the Thomas fire. So just to be careful because the trail might not be exactly how it was before. So one of the major differences between the Tangerine Falls hikes and this hike, which is the San Ysidro Falls hikes, hike is that it's a lot less adventurous. It's a pretty typical trail. I'm out of breath. This is so bad. But uh, there's a lot less rock climbing and a lot more of just regular dirt trail with hills and some elevation. So we've been scoping out places along the creek because on our way back down to where we parked, we're gonna walk up the creek and I guess walk down the creek and slide off of the rocks into the pools. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we look like we've pretty much arrived and it is gorgeous. And there's a stream crossing and pools and such. So when you cross the stream over here, you can kind of see it. Um, you cross the stream and then you go up. There's a little trail that should lead to the falls. So we just arrived at the falls and um, I don't know how else to say it, but it's a little underwhelming. There's like a trickle of water and... <laughs> Wait, Kirsten, what do you think of the trail? I mean, of the waterfall. It's not really a waterfall, it's like a sink trickling down. <laughs> That's pretty accurate, a sink trickling down. So we were just saying how we are low-key more excited to see what the river has in store on our way back down because the waterfall is a trickle and it looks like a bear took a took a leak on top and it just all dripped down. So this is the last time I'll probably say this, but uh, San Ysidro Falls is a flop. If you're looking for a good falls, check out Tangerine Falls. Uh, there's definitely a lot more water and a pool at the bottom, like not deep enough to jump in, but enough to stand and wade in. Um, because yeah, this is not a waterfall. This is like an animal peeing. So we're gonna start walking down the river and try to find any other good watering spots with smaller falls or something like that. That's doable. Look, you can also kind of jump in. Yeah. <laughs> this is so entertaining. So because of the rock slides in Santa Barbara, because of the rain, there are these 
things here, these metal things that are meant to keep the rocks from rolling down. And Kirsten is currently climbing on it. <laughs> So we're currently on the adventure path, just kind of taking the creek back down instead of the trail. And we have to climb through one of those rock barricades over the river. And then we're trying to look for a spot that we can just lay out and eat some crepes and enjoy the water. So we just found our spot. We're gonna go down here. It looks like the creek just like drops off and there's a waterfall that goes down into a hole. And so we're gonna jump down in there and hang out there because that's the closest thing we have to a waterfall. <laughs> okay, so we just found a little waterfall inside these rocks and we're currently going to go in underneath inside, underneath the waterfall. Woo! It's cold. Oh my god. So cold. It feels so good. It's so crazy. The water is so heavy. So walking down the river was definitely the best move that we could have done because although San Ysidro Falls, like the actual falls is pretty underwhelming, along the way back down, this is our second waterfall that we found and it's pretty big, it's pretty good and there's like a moss slide that goes into a pool at the bottom so if you're definitely into that then this is... <laughs> this is perfect for you. Janice forgot to take her shoe off before going in the water so... That's that. So there was this little black snake that jumped out of the rocks and I screamed pretty loud. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, Janice, wait, wait, there's a snake right there. <laughs> We've actually seen two snakes on our hike so far. Uh, one of them crossed Kirsten's path and then like jumped up when I yelled. And then I just saw one swim into the water. So there are definitely water snakes here. Um, but I don't know how harmless they are, so I can't give you any recommendations on that. Oh my gosh, Janice! Yes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! So we are currently back on the trail. There's a little trail that connects from the river back to San Ysidro Falls, and that's what we took. And now we are heading back. So we just finished our hike, and it was really fun. I would say, Compared to Tangerine Falls, um, this one is a little less adventurous and the actual waterfall isn't as good. But along the way, along the trail, the river has a lot of small waterfalls that are definitely worth it, um, especially for going into. So I highly recommend that. And with that, that is the end of this video and I'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.